Hello friends, welcome to Fina Ideas. Today we will learn Sword Condor strategy. Sword Condor means buying OTM put and selling far OTM put and buying OTM call and selling far OTM call all having the same expiry. The objective of making a Sword Condor we are having volatile outlook on market or stock. We want to profit from stock or market breaking the condor range. We are taking limited risk for premium paid and maximum profit is also limited in this strategy. Formulation of strategy. Say for example, if Nifty spot price is rupees 5000 and we make following trades to make a short condor. First we buy put option of Nifty 4900 strike that is our OTM strike and sell put option of Nifty 4800 strike that is our far OTM strike. Now we buy call option of nifty 50 100 strike that is our otm strike and sell call option of nifty 50 200 strike that is our far otm strike combining this four trade we make a short condor you can also observe that here we are making otm bull spread by trading otm calls and making OTM beer spread by trading OTM puts. Now we analyze all the four trades individually. First, we buy 5100 call option. Here we can see that we earn limited loss when market falls and when market rises we have unlimited profit. You can see in the chart that when there is an upward movement above 5100 we are having unlimited profit and when market is falling below 5100 we are having limited loss up to the premium payoff graph for 5100 call we can see that in the payoff table also that on a bullish movement we are having unlimited profit above 5100 and below 5100 we are having limited loss up to the premium second trade that is selling 5200 call now we are selling 5200 strike call option and can see that buy call is making losses when market goes up and gives us limited profit when market comes down you can see in the chart that when market is rising above 5200 we are making unlimited losses and when market is falling we are having limited profit up to the premium You can see the same thing in the table also in the 5200 strike that we are having unlimited loss when market is rising and we are having limited profit when market is falling. Buying 4900 put option. Now this is the third trade we are making. Here we can see that we incur limited loss when market rises and when market falls we are having unlimited profit. You can see in the graph also when the market is above 4900 we are having limited loss up to the premium and when market is falling below 4900 we are having unlimited profit. Payoff table for 4900 put. We can see that in the table here we are incurring limited loss on bullish side and unlimited profit on a bearish side. Now the fourth trade that is selling 4800 put and the last trade we are making is 4800 put. Here we can see that we are having limited profit when market rises and we are making unlimited losses when market falls. You can see in the graph also that when market is rising we are having limited profit and as soon as market is below 4800 we are having unlimited losses 
you can see the same thing in the table also when market is rising we are having limited profit up to the premium and below 4800 we are having unlimited losses also net position for short condor so if we combine all the four trades for call and put options it will become a short condor the short condor payoff table looks like this it is showing that we will have a limited loss if market remains in the range that is the condor range and either side movement will have a limited profit you can see that our condor range that is 4800 and 5200 we are having limited losses on every level and any movement upside or downside above or below the condor range we are having limited profit you can see the payoff graph also that we are having limited loss within the condor range and as soon as we break the condor range upside or downside we are having the profit that is also limited delta table for short condor the portfolio delta of short condor is showing that we are delta short when market has a downward movement and delta long when there is a upward movement you can see in the table that we are having positive delta on upside and negative delta on downside short condor delta graph you can see the same thing in delta graph also that we are having a long delta on upward movement and a short delta on downward movement short condor gamma table our portfolio gamma will be long inside the condor range and will be short outside the condor range you can see that we are having a long gamma inside the condor range and as soon as we break the condo range we are having a negative gamma upside or downside both side same thing you can see in the graph also when market is in the within the condo range we are having a positive gamma as soon as we break the condo range upside or downside we are having a negative gamma vega table for short condo like gamma our portfolio vega will also be long inside the condor range and will be short outside the condor range you can see that in the table okay, like gamma vega is also positive within the condor range and as soon as we break the range upside or downside we are having a negative vega you can see the vega graph also that within the condor range it is positive and as soon as we break the condor range it is a negative figure upside or downside theta table for short condor portfolio theta will be short inside the condor range and will be long outside the condor range contrary to gamma and vega theta is negative within the condor range and as soon as we break the condor range upside or downside will be, it will be a positive figure you can see the graph also of theta that we are having a negative theta when we are trading in the condor range and outside the condor range we are having a positive theta so, volga table for short condor volga will be positive on a higher strike price and negative below higher and middle strike levels but a sharp rise or decline will have a negative volga you can see the table that above 5200 that is our higher strike for call we are having a positive volga but below that below 5200 we are having negative volga but a sharp rise or decline will have a negative volga you can see the table same thing you will see in the volga graph also that we are having a positive volga above 5200 and below that we are having a little bit of negative volga short condor vana table 
Vana will be negative on a higher strike price and a positive on a below and higher and middle strike levels. But a sharp rise will have a positive Vana and a sharp decline will have a negative Vana. You can see that near to the 5200 level we are having a negative Vana. Below that we are having a positive Vana. But a sharp rise will have a positive Vana and a sharp decline will have a negative vana you can see the same thing in the graph also that near to the 5200 levels we have a negative vana but a sharp rise will have a positive vana and we are having a negative vana below that but as if there is a sharp decline we will have a negative vana risk return profile the maximum loss is limited up to the net premium paid. The worst case scenario is market or stock remain in the trading range and third is net premium paid will be premium paid for call option that is 5200 minus 5100 5, minus 5200 and premium paid for put option that is 4900 minus 4800 it can also make a limited profit profit of strike difference minus premium paid strike difference is 100 you can derive it by minusing two strike that we have traded you can see that in call we have traded 52 minus 51 that is a difference of 100 and in put we have traded 48 minus 48 49 minus 48 that is a difference of 100 also so if you deduct 100 that is a strike difference minus the uh, net premium paid you will have the maximum profit you can have in this strategy now we summarize the short condor we have made four trades for short condor we have bought 5100 call and 4900 put and we have sold 5200 call and 4800 put portfolio greeks for short condor delta delta is positive on upper side neutral in the middle levels and negative again towards the lower side gamma Gamma is negative on upper side, positive near to the middle levels and negative again towards the lower side. Vega, Vega is negative like Gamma on upper side, positive towards the middle levels and again negative towards the lower side. Theta, Theta is positive on upper side, negative on middle levels and again positive towards the lower side. When to initiate short condor strategy? When market looks volatile, this is the best scenario to make a call, uh, short condor if you are having a volatile outlook on a market. When we want to limit the premium loss, buying OTM calls and puts and selling lower strike put and higher strike calls to recover the premium. You can see that we have bought the OTM puts and we have sold far OTM call and puts to recover a little bit of premium. Maximum loss is up to the net premium paid. Our desire is to profit from market or stock movement upside or downside. Problem or risk in a short condor, time decay. Eventually, we, we pay premium. So, we pay theta as the time passes every day till the expiry. So, if there is no movement and time is passing, we will pay theta every day. This is the risk we carry in a short condor. Risk profile and break even points. Maximum risk. That is net premium paid. Maximum reward is strike price difference minus net premium paid. Break even points. The lower 
they, we have two break even point over here the lower put strike break even is lower put strike bought minus the net premium paid and higher strike call break even is higher call strike bought plus the net premium paid for more details contact us our website is www.finideas.com you can also mail us on info at finideas.com you can contact us on 93749 8560 thank you very much